So I is equal to A and B, right? You should know that the current is due to the movement of charge carriers along the conductor, right? So let's say I have here a wire, a cross section of a wire, right? For example, like this. And what's happening is that I have here, uh, you know, charge carriers. Let's say this is the positive charge here, like this. Let's say the movement of the charge carriers is in this direction. The, this V is the average drift speed. I call this the average drift speed here. This here is the cross-sectional area. I call this capital A. Because this is the cross-sectional area. The length or the distance covered by the charge carriers is, let's say, L. We call this the distance moved by the charge carriers, right? And this all occurs in time t, right? The time is t. So, what is happening that the flow of charge carriers here, this is characterized by average drift speed here, right? The flow of charge carriers is characterized by average drift speed. Also, you should know that these charge carriers, as they move along this cross section, they cover a certain volume as well. The volume is what? That is the cross-sectional area, area of cross-section times the length, right? So it can be written as V is equal to A times N. Achha, ab, uh, ye jo charge carriers hai, they would have a number density of charge carriers, right? There would be a certain number density of them. So number density of charge carriers, I call this small n, right? Small n is the number density, right? It is given by the number of charge carriers, capital N over the volume V. And we can write here, small n is equal to capital N over V. Can we do this? Okay, so this is our pass, which is number density is capital N over V, right? Achha, aapko ye bhi pata hai that elementary charge E or Q is equal to 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 coulombs. This is the elementary charge that we have. The charge on an electron or a charge on a proton, this is the elementary charge that we have, right? Uh, you also know this, as we saw it earlier, that Q is equal to NE or Q is equal to N times Q. Okay? Q is the total charge, N is the number of charge carriers, E is the elementary charge, and so is Q. And I can write this equation like this. What we can do is uh, we can substitute. I'll call this equation number one. I'll call this equation number two. So we substitute equation number one into equation number two, right? And what we get is we get Q is equal to, since it's Q is equal to NQ, this becomes small n capital V times Q, where V is the volume. N is the number density and Q is the elementary charge. Achha, aap ko ye bhi pata hai that volume, capital V is area of cross section times length. So can you write it here? You can substitute it in this expression. Q is equal to N V Q. And you can write here N and this will become A into L times Q. I have substituted V here in this expression, right? And the expression becomes Q is equal to N A L Q. Uske baad, humare paas hai I. I is the current, which is given by capital Q over T. And we can put this expression here. Okay, I can write here I is equal to N A L Q over T. And what we can do is that this becomes I is equal to N A L over T times small q. Ye jo L over T is average drift speed. Isko hum kehte average distance over time, right? 
जो आपके पास v है दिस इज वॉट दिस इज द एवरेज ड्रिफ्ट स्पीड राइट दिस इज द लेंथ ऑफ द डिस्टेंस कवर्ड and this is the time right and we will be able to write here i is equal to n a small v times q and this becomes i is equal to a n v q so this is the derivation of the drift current this is the current here this is the area of cross section this n is the number density this v is the average of speed and this q is what this is the elementary charge so this is what we did right we derived the entire expression for the the drift current and the average of speed right uh, so for example if you have a wire like this and the cross sectional area of the wire decreases what's going to happen is that let's say the area of cross section was greater before and now the area of cross section is lesser can you tell me what's going to happen to the average of speed एवरेज जो स्पीड को क्या होगा वी हैव v इज इक्वल टू i ओवर a एन q एंड इफ द एरिया ऑफ क्रॉस सेक्शन डिक्रीजेस एवरीथिंग एल्स इज कांस्टेंट द स्पीड इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीज लेट्स टॉक अबाउट पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस राइट व्हाट इज पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस लेट्स से आई हैव अ सर्किट हियर एंड वी विल डू दैट मोर इन डीसी सर्किट्स एज़ वेल लेट्स से यू हैव दिस रेजिस्टर हियर दिस इज पॉइंट a सो लेट्स से दिस इज पॉइंट b and you have something of this configuration this is the positive terminal this is the negative terminal the current is flowing all the way from here to here acha jab isme se current flow karega to obviously some energy would be dissipated in the resistor right so uh, what is potential difference theek okay? hai if they ask you to define potential difference define potential difference when you should know that that the potential difference between any two points in a circuit is a measure of electrical energy transferred okay or the work done by each coulomb of charge as it moves from one point to another right one point to another right and dekhiye uh, ye jo energy hai wo dissipate ho rahi hai yahan pe there is some work done per unit charge theek hai the charge is doing some work so potential difference is is work done per unit charge and that is across two points okay across a conductor two points across a conductor so the work done is in joule okay and charge is in coulomb and the si unit for the potential difference is volt you should know by all means that 1 volt is equal to 1 joule per coulomb okay 1 volt is equal to 1 joule per coulomb right and to illustrate this in a more to illustrate this like this we have here the emf source we'll talk about emf and dc circuits in detail so what's happening is that 12 joules per coulomb of potential difference is here all the way right theek hai 12 joules of energy hai ek coulomb ke paas और जब ये पॉइंट ए और पॉइंट बी से गुजरेगी तो क्या होगा व्हाट्स गोना हैपन इट्स गोइंग टू डिसिपेट द एनर्जी सम वर्क इज डन अक्रॉस द कंडक्टर सो एज्यूमिंग दैट देयर इज नो रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ वायर नेग्लिजिबल रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द वायर्स एंड एज्यूमिंग दैट दिस इज एन आइडियल सेल विद नो इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस द एंटायर पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस इज गोइंग टू बी यूज्ड हियर इट्स गोइंग टू कम अक्रॉस हियर एंड हियर व्हाट विल बी द इफ 12 जूल पर कूलम इज हियर यहां पे कितना आएगा पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस विल बी व्हाट जी दिस विल बी 0 जूल्स पर कूलम राइट सो दिस इज द कांसेप्ट ऑफ पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस v इज इक्वल टू w ओवर q में यू शुड नो दैट द w इज द वर्क डन और एनर्जी कन्वर्टेड फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रिकल टू अदर फॉर्म्स ठीक है इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी इज कन्वर्टिंग इनटू हीट एंड लाइट इफ देयर इज अ बल्ब इट वुड बी कन्वर्टिंग इनटू हीट एंड लाइट एनर्जी राइट सो वर्क डन और एनर्जी कन्वर्टेड फ्रॉम electrical to other forms theek okay? hai in joules and this is this q is the charge in coulomb that passes from one point to another and this is in coulomb so if they ask you to define volt you should know that that it is the 
potential difference between two points such that the energy transferred from electrical to other forms is one joule per coulomb electric charge passing between two points. So, if you have a 12 volt ki battery hai, like this, and there are different resistors, there's one resistor here, there's another resistor here, there's another resistor here. And let's say the the 12 volt ki battery hai, EMF, assuming that there is no internal resistance, right? We internal resistance to DC circuits in detail. Mein karenge. So, this is current, ja rahe, let's say 1 ampere. Ka, hai? Or, this 2 ohms ka resistor. This is 4 ohms ka resistor. This is 6 ohms ka resistor. So, when this current is going to happen, so what's going to happen is that some potential difference is going to come across this resistor. So, potential difference is going to come across this resistor. If you have 12 volt, then this point is going to come to a, a or b ni a or b pe kitna hoga a pe agar 12 hai to b pe kitna hoga 10 volts 2 volts yahan pe aa jayega na v is equal to ir se v is equal to ir se i is 1 r this is a very important equation and we'll do this in resistance as well and you've done it in your o level as well the potential difference is equal to current times the resistance to yahan pe hamare paas aa jayega 4 volt aur yahan pe c pe 6 volt aa jayega aur phir 6 volt yahan pe use ho jayega by v is equal to ir V is equal to IR. I is 1 and R is 6. So 6 volt. And here 0 volt. So what happens is that this is how the, the energy is being dissipated. Right? And this is the concept of the potential difference. As you can see here. Okay. Now we have one more thing. We uh, have electrical power or energy. Ko bas kar lete. Okay. Electric power. Very important concept, okay? and all of the energy that you have in your homes and uh, everywhere is uh, because of electric power, right? The light and everything. So power is defined as the rate of work done or the, the rate of energy conversion, right? The formula for power, as you all know, is work done per unit time, or you can also write here power as energy over time. You're all familiar with the formula of potential difference. The potential difference is what? The potential difference is work done per unit charge. And we can, by all means, write here V is equal to W over Q, where V is the potential difference, W is the work done, and Q is the charge. And by all means, W is equal to VQ, right? Now you know that that power is work done over time. We can substitute this formula here in this expression and p will be equal to w ki jagah jayega vq over t you can see everyone and this becomes power is equal to v times q over t this q over t is what this is the current in amperes i is equal to q over t as you saw it earlier so the expression becomes here power is equal to vi a very important formula this this is this p is power Electric power, the SI unit for power is watt. And V is the potential difference in volt. This I is the current in ampere. And you can write here power as potential difference times the current. I've already told you that SI unit for power is watt. But you should also know that that one watt is equal to 1 joule per second. So, wherever you have joule per second, that is the power. Right? Energy dissipated per second, hai, that is power. The power is measured in what? When the potential difference P dot D right, is in volt. And the current is in ampere. So power is equal to VI. There are two more formulas which are of the same idea. We have R here, the resistor. The resistor, we'll do that later on. And it is something that controls the size of current in a circuit. So we have I here. We have V here, the potential difference. 
and we saw that, that when the current passes through this component some energy is dissipated all the way you all are familiar with the formula power is equal to vi and you know that v is equal to ir as well right so what you can do is you can make certain substitutions here so vi ki jagah aap likh sakte hain ir times i and this becomes what i square r and this is another formula that we have for power dissipated in a resistor this is electric power is equal to the current square times the resistance and this is the power dissipated in a resistor right last but not the least we have uh, another formula theek hai ek to power is equal to vi tha ek ye hai ek third formula hai power ka since power is vi and v is equal to ir so we have here i is equal to v over r and you know that the power is vi and we have v times v over r and power becomes v square over r we get another formula here theek hai especially parallel circuits mein jab potential difference constant hota hai to aap ye wala formula jo hai wo use kar sakte hain aur uh, its power is equal to v square over r right so we have three formulas here for electric power and they are what they are power is equal to vi we have power is equal to i square r and we have power is equal to v square over r so energy hoti hai power into time energy and work done are power into time right so e is equal to pt right and you have uh, uh, the formula of the power as vi aur uska corresponding formula jo energy ka hoga that will be since energy is pt so this will be ivt it's a very important formula aur ye kafi use hoga aage a2 mein bhi use hota hai Furthermore, we have power is equal to I square R, and we have energy is equal to P T. So this can also be I square R times T. We will get another formula here. And since you know that it also power is equal to V square over R, the energy is P T. This is V square R over R times T. We get another formula here. Okay, Jee. So these are the formulas for the electrical energy, right?